Hello guys, welcome to Finstock Bistock. This is a channel to talk about businesses. We give you tips and insights on how to run, start and manage your business. And today we are going to be asking ourselves this question. What are those elements that make a speech spectacular? What, what are those elements that if you include in your speech, your audience will be engaged, they will listen to you, they will be active, and they will learn from, they will get the message that we wanted to deliver. So uh, today we're going to be talking about five elements of a good speech. If you want to be a, the great, a great public speaker, you need to master these five elements. Now, one of the elements is a grabber, that is the intro. Whenever you're starting a speech, it is always good to have a grabber. And when you're talking about what is a grabber, what is this grabber that I'm talking about? This is the part of a speech that attracts your audience. It hooks your audience to your speech. And the way you introduce your speech will really matter if your audience will be hooked or they'll be interested in what you say. Uh, assuming we want to talk about motivation in the, in the workplace, you can start with a grabber that says, no one likes work. Or just come up with a quote or just something that is very controversial to the message that you're talking about. And you find that people will be asking, uh, people will be asking yourself, why did he say that? And then they will want to learn more on, or they will listen to whatever you want, you want to say. And then number two is the subject. What is the subject? The subject is the topic that we'll be covering. If you're talking about workplace ethics, then cover, cover, make sure that your, 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 your good, your speech has that, it covers the subject on, on uh, workplace ethics. And then number three is the message. Always in your speech, always make sure that you have delivered the message. If you want to emphasize people to go work to the workplace early, or maybe they should maintain work ethics, or maybe they should respect their boss, make sure that the message is well put across. People understand that this is the message that you wanted to communicate. And then number four is the theme. Always understand the theme that of the speech that you want to give. Maybe it's, if you want to maybe uh, and uh, talk about the theme of respect, the theme of hard work. In your speech, that should it should resonate. Your audience should understand that this is the theme, and they should be able to resonate with that theme. They should understand it even without having to think, uh, like asking themselves, "What is he talking about?" And then number five is structure. It is good to have a structure when you're giving a speech, and when you have a structure, there will there will be a flow of thoughts on how you're giving your your speech. And you should have an introduction. You should have a body. You'd have you should have a message. And then you should have a conclusion. That is the structure you're supposed to follow. You don't start with the you don't start with the conclusion, and then end up with the introduction. No, you have to have a good structure when you're giving a speech. And that way, you find that your audience is able to go with you from the beginning to the end. And then number six, the last one is call to action. And what do we mean when we're talking about call to action? Call to action is when are you? Ask the people to know what is the what is the purpose or the intent of your speech. Maybe it is to uh, make people to subscribe to your YouTube channel, or maybe to stop a habit, or maybe to buy a, an item. Always have a t call to action in your speech. So those are the five elements of a good speech. If you are talk if you are planning to have a speech, those are some of the five elements that you should include in your speech and make sure that your speech is uh, is also precise and to the point. And you don't, you don't want to have long, boring, three-hour speeches. So make sure that at the end of this video, you like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit on the notification button so that every time I upload a new, new video, you can be notified. And if you're interested in learning more about public speaking, whether you, are, you want to make a speech or maybe you are a leader and you want to improve your public speaking skills, you can enroll at Finstock University College. Visit their website at www.finstockuniversity.com or call them at 0703-313-722 or send them an email at info at Until next time, goodbye.